So I have about two months left until I finally start my Pacific Crest Trail through hike. I am so excited, but I just wanted to share where I'm at with my prep. So naturally, uh, life threw a curveball, and I just found out that I have to have a lipoma removed from my lower back. Lipomas are like soft tissue tumors. They're typically benign, but it's been causing me a lot of pain because I already have existing sciatica problems and the doctors believe that maybe the lipoma is pressing on my nerve, which is increasing the pain. Also, when I backpack, you know, my pack sits right where the lipoma has grown. So it turns out that I'm getting it uh, surgically removed. Typically, um, lipomas are easy to remove. Um, you can stay awake. They just put some like local anesthesia and then remove it. But unfortunately, I had to be put fully asleep because the doctors believe that it's extremely deep. They're concerned about where the position of the lipoma is close to my spine and some other kinds of nerves. I have no idea. All I know is that that bad boy is getting removed and I really hope that it's going to alleviate a lot of, a lot of the pain that I'm experiencing, especially while backpacking. And um, it's really important to me that I can get this thing out and try to be healed and fully healthy again before I start my hike in two months. I'm a little bummed, of course, because I've been doing this like workout program and this whole diet thing, just trying to get physically as healthy as possible before I start. So clearly, I'm not gonna be able to be working out for at least three weeks. I don't really know how long, it, long it's gonna take me to recover. The surgeons couldn't say because they can't tell how big the incision's gonna have to be and all of that. So that's a quick little update. Um, like I said, it's a little curveball into my prep, but that's just life. Um, I have to get used to that, especially on the trail. But yeah, that's happening in like a couple days, on Valentine's Day actually. The surgeons were like, oh, is this okay if, we, if you have surgery this day? Do you have any plans? And I was like, nope, you guys are the hottest state that I have. So anyway, um, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. And um, then yeah, just focus on getting as healthy as possible so that I can try to hit the trail hard, but um, not get hurt either. So that's that. Uh, next little update is my dad has decided to do the first section of the PCT with me. It's about 109 miles. It goes from Campo, California, all the way up to Warner Springs. So that's been really exciting uh, to plan with him. Um, he didn't have much gear, so we've been, every time I go home, we've been going to various stores and checking out some gear. And I actually just got off the phone with him. And, you know, it's just exciting to talk about our meals and certain, um, just various little things. It's gonna be a great, like, father-daughter experience. My dad is a former Green Beret, so he's not new to backpacking. He's actually being really intense with some of the things he wants to bring, and I have to remind him that this is not like a special operations <laughs> mission, but um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited to spend that week with my dad and create those memories. So that's really cool, and yeah, really pumped about that. And once we get that week down, I'm hoping that he'll wanna join um, for some other portions if he has some days off of work or something. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, to know that he's uh, wanting to do that with me. So yeah, super excited about that. Um, regarding like my gear and everything, I have most of it, but there's still some things that I need to get. And I don't know why, but I'm really slacking on um, <laughs> picking out the remaining bits of my gear. Mainly, I just, I can't figure out what I wanna wear. And I read so many blogs about it, and I've sought so much advice. And you know everybody just likes different things, and so I really just need to one day just go to a store like REI or something, and just try on a bunch of different things, and just like make a decision. And I have to remember that if something's not working for me on the trail in any way, I can change it. I'm not doesn't mean I'm stuck with a lot of this um, while I'm on the trail. So I just need to get it done. 
I need to get like my rechargeable battery for like my phone and my camera and just smaller uh, cosmetic things. Uh, maybe pick up a couple extra things for my first aid kit. Basically all of that. And yeah, I have two months left, uh, but I am moving out of my condo in a few weeks. Super bummed about that. Super sad. I don't want to leave this place, but I have to if I want to go through hike the Pacific Crest Trail. So I have priorities, but pretty soon I'm going to be moving out and that's going to be pretty stressful and getting my storage unit already and putting all my furniture and everything that everything that I don't need into a storage unit. So I need to kind of just start finalizing, you know, all of my gear and my permits and everything like that because I'm going to have a lot going on now with this surgery and moving and, you know, couch hopping. Thanks to all my friends letting me sleep on their couch, by the way. And just, you know, like finalizing everything. So one thing that I'm having some issues with is still deciding what shoes I want to wear. Right now I've been wearing uh, the Ultra Lone Peak uh, 3.5s for about four or five months. And I love them uh, because they, they feel incredible. I have gotten zero blisters in them, which is huge for me as my feet are super prone to blisters. But the zero drop is still affecting my calves. And every time I hike or even walk in the slightest incline, my calves just cramp up and I can't, I can't have that while on the trail. And so I'm thinking about going and buying some Solomons, maybe trying those out. Any recommendations would be helpful. I don't know if anybody else has experienced um, cramping in their calves with uh, going from, going to a zero drop shoe. I just, I don't know. I want to love them because they make my feet feel so comfortable. Um, just standing there even I just feel like I'm walking in a cloud and I don't get blisters but I don't know I don't know what to do and me postponing that decision is not going to be beneficial so I need to get on it so I'm actually starting to finally get a little nervous I think in 2017 it was always oh next year I'm hiking the trail and everything was oh next year next year and some mental shift happened obviously when it became 2018 from 2017 and not it wasn't next year anymore it was this year but even in January I'm like okay whoa that's a few months away I can handle it but now that I'm coming up on the two month mark before I start the trail I'm starting getting a little nervous, but I can't even tell you how excited I am. And I can't believe that I'm actually going to do this or attempt to do this. And even if I can only make it 200 miles for whatever reason, just my lifestyle change uh, leading up to me leaving for the trail has been so incredible. And I'm really proud of myself with like my diet and my working out and um, stretching even and just trying to do the best to take care of myself in so many ways so that I can be as healthy as possible for the trail has made me feel better as a person as a whole and I know it has really made me realize and know that me hiking this is so much more than just like walking on a trail for 2,650 miles. This is actually helping me become a better person all around and that's how I know that that what I'm doing is so right me giving up this beautiful condo you know taking time off of work not seeing friends you know blah 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 it's just really confirmed to me that I made the right decision regardless of what happens on the trail I'm excited but I'm nervous and I'm just thankful and so many emotions and one thing that I do want to say is that there have already been so many people who have reached out to me on Instagram, over email, or on Facebook, so many different ways, and already offered their homes to me to stay, to stay at before I leave for the trail, rides, um, places to eat, offering to feed me, you know, just all of these different 
um, things of hospitality and it has made me emotional so, so many times. Like even right now thinking about it, just that these complete strangers are just rooting for me and rooting for so many of the other hikers and it's just walking, but I really feel like this is gonna be one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life and I'm not doing anything profound, but it's still the fact that people are willing to be so selfless and just offer me a hot meal or a place to sleep means the world to me and I haven't even started yet. So thank you to everybody who has reached out to me in some way, who has supported me. I appreciate it so much and I just want to thank, thank you and there's no way that I can repay most of you for what you've already done for me. And you know, I already have friends wanting to send me all of these resupply packages and I haven't even been on the trail yet and so I can't really understand how hard it's gonna be. I'm just trying to like prepare myself, but I already know how special all of that is going to be. And so once again, thank you so much. And finally, um, people have been asking me some, you know, just questions through, through messaging or whatnot. And um, a lot of them tend to be some of the same questions and I don't mind answering it, but I thought it would be fun to maybe make a little Q&A video in like a week or so. So if any of you guys have questions that you wanna ask me um, about anything really, uh, please leave them in the comments below or you can privately message them to me, just whatever works. And yeah, and if I get enough questions, I'll make a video and answer them to the best of my abilities. But anyway, again you guys, I'm so excited. I have two months left until the biggest adventure of my life and thank you so much for coming along the journey with me and it makes it so much fun when um you know there's other people involved but yeah um hopefully my surgery goes well and i get over that little hurdle and then i'm gonna get all of my gear and then yeah i'll be driving down to the uh southern terminus to start uh, my big journey anyway you guys once again, thanks for watching, and as always, it would be so awesome if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like this video, and, and once again, comment with any questions that you have, or also advice. I mean, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally winging it. You guys are awesome, and thanks for following my journey. See you later. Bye.